Welcome back YouTubers to my channel of Life of an ASB, looking into the life of Asperger's Syndrome. As is fully aware basically, I have been creating uh, the addiction series basically for teens and adults alike, hopefully just to give a lowdown to hopefully let everyone know about the side effects of alcohol and drugs of the once it's taken into effect of the long term versus the short term effect as well as also in the last piece I was talking about the definition of a relapse, how it may happen and what to look for when people are relapsing. So in all for the do, this one's basically going to be part 18, which is seven ways, bef seven ways of a re seven ways relapse begins before you actually do become to use. So as you know, for basically in this day and age, we're in this culture now, especially in New Zealand, that there is a lot of drinking going on, be it teenage drinking, binge drinking, and we are obviously in one of the top three countries that actually do basically have this high rate of alcoholism versus you know just teenagers drinking and whatnot even though many people may argue with me that I was I've heard from someone that teenagers ain't always the cause of the problem of all these everyday situations that comes in our way be it whatever it may be social pe pressure peer pressure and the like just to fit in and whatever but there's still no excuse though because I think that we need to find a way to actually put a stop to this before it's too late because obviously we have heard in the past that there has been so many accidents that has occurred versus the suicide rates and that that has occurred versus whatever it may be of what causes people to drink especially young teens at a real young age especially enticing them to use as well so and all for the do understanding how relapse happens obviously when it started and what they could do to help prevent you from having helping you not to suffer a repeat performance of the relapse however is important even so you should know that relapse begins really long before you actually do take that first drink or drug whatever it may be a relapse doesn't really just basically happen out of nowhere even though like i said there's no excuses for basically young teens just to say oh i feel high and mighty i just need to fit in the in crowd or whatever even though we know we cave in so much with temptation and also that sometimes we just give up on certain things in life and especially in the social pressures that we are faced right now that us teens now are putting on the limelight that we need to basically make the change in our lives as well as, you know, just maybe in the lives of others. But then again, you know, some people just doesn't want to make that choice. Relapse first starts with a change in the way you look at things, a change in the way of basically of the attitude and the actions that you bring out towards yourself and towards others. As we know that what, what we say and do and think sometimes can affect others around us, even though in reality many people just tend to think that, you know, just because they have it all, what's the point, you know? Um, you then return to to that distorted thinking you had when you were first using or when you were first basically drinking probably not so out of focus when you were in the midst of the chaos of using though however but out of focus nonetheless your t attitude however while it becomes so terrible your emotions is well over the place and you can't return to your old self with the using behaviors three of the most common of these behaviors include one dishonesty your be back to rationalizing of your bad attitude and thoughts and behavior patterns. Two, arguing and expecting too much of other people around you. Three, complacency about your recovery and beginning to put, put less time and effort into this recovery stage of yours. Let's look at some of the relapse attitudes, however, thinking and behaviors that come before you actually do return to that point of using. A word of caution though, however, while it may be just an off mode mood to feel, think, or act these ways on any occasion, if the following list of attitudes that I'm going to list to you keeps up or grow worse, it can indicate that you're in the relapse mode. Each of the following can signal you are in relapse, even though you haven't used or taken a drink just as yet, though, however. Number one of these is, you may hear, life is boring, 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 and it sucks to the max. Life is boring and you've had been feeling this way for some time now. 
you're not sure why your teachers are fine, so is everything at home, but you're first never, you're just never satisfied with life or with yourself. Nothing less like, feels like quite right. You feel impatient with life yourself and others around you. Nothing seems fun or interesting anymore for, to you and that you tend to lose interest so quickly within that time period. What's more, people who are having fun and seem happy with their lives obviously irritate you and then you, your bad mood swings comes into play and you tend to want to pick a fight with everybody obviously. When I heard this though, to be honest with you guys, like, it's, again, it's still no excuse. You can, you can make a stand and actually make a change if you want, really wanted to. And basically how I look at it is that nine times out of ten that, um, you, you are the problem, not them that obviously thing. You, you made that decision of using or drinking. You can break that habit. You can break that addiction. So whatever you do, do not put it on everyone else that they're the problem. Number two, I'm way cooler than everyone else. I've got it going on. I'm top of it and I've got the drug thing licked. You tell everyone you feel great all the time, but regardless of all this, you're hiding inside that you're not and your life is down near perfect. In fact, you're down, down, doom near to perf single doubt, perfect too. But most important, you know without a single debt that you'll never ever drink or use drugs. Again, your problem with drugs and alcohol is a thing of the past. Again, that is not true in my best respect how I look at this because obviously, you know, a relapse happens over and over again. If you don't, like I said, if you don't know the signs and symptoms qu quick enough, that's when, you know, you're bound to just fall back and have, kick the habit again and again until the point that you, you end up either in a life-threatening state, be it in hospital, or your life-threatening state that you're on the verge of losing your life just because of the alcohol or drugs you've been taking. Number three, what's the use? Nothing ever goes right for me. You are filled with feelings of sadness, de maybe depression. You're not sleeping well and then you have started basically avoiding people, often preferring to be alone. Then you're disappointed in yourself. Growing more and more sad, you start to feel like everything is so hopeless. You may even have thoughts of suicide, feeling as if you'd like to just end it all. Number four. Everyone is such a loser. Can't anyone get things right? First you feel out of sorts when this happens. Grouchy, moody. But then you become more and more irritable until the point that you snap and complain about any small thing. You are impatient. No one is doing things the way you think they should have done it in the first place. You feel the need to argue about everything and everyone about the small things. You always have to be right, be the centre of attention. And obviously, all those other people around you have to be wrong. Number five, there's so much to do and I have just a zillion things I just have to tell you. You are hyper, always on the go, way too overactive for everyone around you. Even the way you move is so fast and the way you talk is abrasive. You start to talk and talk and talk and talk compulsively, but you have absolutely no real interest in what you are saying. And chances are you're not even thinking or making any sense of it all. Number six, just let me kick back because I don't have any energy to do anything else. You are so tired, just plain exhausted, and it's a feeling of basically being emotionally drained too. But that being that way makes you feel tense, best mellow, but you try to cover up pretending you're just mellow and calm, and but in reality you know that everything of those signs and symptoms, be it the shakes, the hyperactivity and everything else with that addiction high that you were feeding off that basically you need to feed that habit once more. When you wake up in the morning it seems as though you're as tired as when you went to sleep. You may let people know you feel awful but you become withdrawn. You want nothing to do with anyone or anything. Number seven. I've heard around and I deserve to be miserable and lonely. This is the last common one. You feel like you're a total loser who's failed at everything. Your feelings of loneliness and depression usually 
include remorse, guilt, and self-pity. So you obviously do these three things to try and let people in to feel sorry for you no matter what you have said and done to them based on your thoughts, actions, and what have you. You may even feel rejected or abandoned. From one day to the next, you can go from feeling like nobody really cares about you to feeling like you just have to make up to your own friends and family for all the ways you've just hurt them. When you think about all those wrongs or the pain you have caused you go further and further into that feeling all alone because you think you really deserve to be alone you feel like it's all as hopeless okay questions to answer yourselves as you do this did you see yourself in any of those seven quotes that i shared with you all of the descriptions Often it can be a combination of the attitudes and behaviors that you'll be experiencing at that time of using and abusing the drug or the alcohol. For example, you can go from being irritable to and then grouchy to feeling terribly sorry for yourself. Whatever the relapse modes that switch on, you see yourself acting, you need to start taking action to avoid complete relapse. It's very important though, however, to realize that it's just because you find yourself experiencing these feelings, thoughts and behaviors of relapse it doesn't mean you have to relapse again again by choice you can break that cycle it doesn't even mean you have to go backwards each time you catch yourself and work your program on these feelings thoughts and behaviors you are growing stronger in your recovery it is part of growing up in your recovery and becoming more emotionally mature and basically it's showing that you are actually taking responsibility for your own actions, thoughts and what have you when you do actually end up breaking these habits of addictions. As time goes on, however, you will recognize these relapse modes that I've mentioned earlier and earlier will then deal with them right away. Those in recovery say that addiction is a disease of forgetting. That's what happens with a relapse, however. One, you forget that a first drink or drug starts the vicious cycle of addiction all over again. Two, you forget that you can't use in moderation anymore or just use less harmful drugs. Three, you forget all the painful consequences of using or drinking. Four, you forget all the energy and work that you did to keep clean and stay clean up until this point of your recovery stage. Five, you forget all the good the beauty, the love, all you have to be grateful for in your life and how you can lose all sight when you use. So basically that ends part 17 of the relapse, of the 7 ways of relapse. Give me the like for the support and thumbs up basically guys. Also comment below to share your stories basically to share people for people around hopefully just to have enlightenment for them and also basically just maybe some quotes maybe on my video channel of this one especially or even in the really beginning basically just to know that um that everyone is you know out there and not alone just because of this that's going on even though we need to like i said break this addiction habits and whatnot give subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so share the videos to family and friends as resources or what have you also follow me on Twitter and Facebook sort of thing and also just feel free to comment on there just to give me a heads up of maybe some everyday topics you feel is equivalent to to this channel. <coughs> but I'm going to hopefully post some updates more of what's going on anyway to the YouTube promoter and other pages that I'm on. So and all for the day, thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you all soon.